another quarter, another release. My name's Ashley, and I'm going to take you through what's new in version 2022.4. As we can see in the overview, it's not quite as extensive as it was in the last release, but we have a few usability improvements that continue to make the software a pleasant place to be. First up, we're introducing the viewing tripod. If you keep an eye on the video, you can see that you can now use the tripod in the corner of the window to align the camera to the scene. As you hover the cursor over this tripod, you can select faces, or you could select vertices, or even nodes, to give you direct access to the fixed views, whether these be direct or oblique. This means that you can quickly get the camera to predefined aligned views and eliminate the guesswork with using the little symbols at the bottom of the window. Continuing on with visualization and navigation, for you CAD users out there, we know that the parallel projection mode is your preferred viewing type. We admit it could sometimes be frustrating having to reset this view every time you restarted the software. So what's the answer? Well, it's simple. We've now included the option to make this a preset. There's another usability improvement when using the compensation mesh. Here we've eliminated the guesswork in terms of control point density because there's a preview. This means you can immediately get a better indication of how a compensation mesh is likely to be applied to your sample. In the last release, we introduced the new feature, Displacement Analysis. This is a fantastic tool allowing you to see where any movement has occurred between two different samples or samples in different states, giving a more detailed insight than the normal nominal actual comparison. Now in the previous release, we were limited to applying this globally. Our customers have quite rightly asked, can we maybe localize some of this? So yes, now we can. We've introduced the ability to use regions of interest, meaning you can limit the analysis to certain areas if you wanted a clearer idea of local deformations. We've had some amazing customer feedback about our new reporting tool. Despite the plethora of new possibilities within our new user interface, we're still looking to improve it. So now we've introduced snapping for the layout elements. This means that when you're introducing new elements such as tables, text, or images, as you move them around, they will now snap to locations. This means it's no longer as fiddly to get things to align to each other and work similarly to other types of software that allow you to move elements around, like the software that may have been used to create this presentation. This snapping applies to both location and resizing and is already on by default. Finally, using VG EasyPore on multi-material parts historically can be a little challenging under certain circumstances. If we were looking for porosity within a less dense component of a multi-material dataset, sometimes we would end up with false positives in the areas where the materials interface each other. So we've taken a closer look to try and fix this issue. So now, provided the less dense material has a surface already defined, we will no longer get the false positives at these interface areas. Just run the VG Easy Pour as normal. So that's it for VG releases for 2022. We can't wait to show you what we're working on for 2023.